Getting started with Remarker. Import markers in Grandma 2. This video will walk you through how to convert markers from any of the supported source softwares into a sequence and time code pull item for Grandma 2. In this example we will be using markers from Reaper. First we drop the file into Remarker. I know my Reaper project is set to 25 frames per second so I will select that in the source FPS. Drop down menu. Next we will specify Grandma 2 as our output software. Now we are ready to convert the marker file. Press convert. We are now presented with a pop-up asking us where to place the items in the Grandma 2 show file. It is important that these slots are empty and available inside Grandma 2. If not the macro may not work correctly. When you are ready to convert press please. The next step is moving the generated files into the Grandma 2 file structure. For this example we are using on PC version 3.8. Remarker has generated two files. The two different files need to go into different folders. First we copy the macro file. The macro file should be placed inside the macros folder inside the Grandma 2 file structure. It is important that these files are placed in the correct folders and that the names are unchanged. Now we can copy the timecode file. This file should be placed inside the import export folder of the Grandma 2 file structure. We can now open Grandma 2. First we need to locate a empty macro slot in our show file. Macro 1 is available here so we are going to use that. In the command line, write the following. Import my track macro at macro 1 and then press please. You will need to change out the name of the file to import to match the macro file you have generate it. The macro will now show up in your macro pool. All we need to do now is to run the macro. As you can see the macro created a new sequence. Assigned it to your executor and generated a timecode pool item with all timings.